Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, then please do. And today I'm going to be doing a favourite video. So I'm going to be showing you, telling you, I'm going to be telling you about my favourite movies, TV shows and music. So, I will be explaining why I rank some higher and some lower. I should also be saying my own mentions because of there are some things that I did enjoy, but just not as much as the others. If you see me looking down, it's because I have notes on this phone. So please keep in mind that this is my opinion. So if I rank one of your favourites from low, I probably did like it. It just wasn't my favourite of the year. Um, in total, I've watched around 50 movies. And this is not including when I rewatched Lots of Ink, Deadpool 1 and 2, Toy Story 3, New Car and other movies that I've rewatched in the year. Before I start talking about my favourite and least favourite movies, I want to talk about movies that I was planning to watch, but I didn't end up watching, and I'm going to explain why. So the first movie is Bottoms. This movie I really wanted to watch because I heard about it, and I knew that the actor from Red, White and Royal Blue is in it, and also the person from Tug or Heart. But it wasn't on Prime. I was going to watch it in cinemas, but then I was watching other movies at the time, so I haven't ended up watching it because it's not on Prime. Maybe they'll put it on home premiere, but as of right now, it's not on Prime. The second one is Purple Hearts. With this, my older sister has read the book and she's seen the movie many times and she told me about it. So I was planning to see it, but I didn't end up watching it because of how wrong it is, but I'll probably get around to it one day. So the third movie is Dune 2. This movie was supposed to come out in 2023, but it's moved to 2024. I'm excited to watch it, but I'm kind of half and half because I was disappointed in the first one. But I heard Zendaya gets a bigger role in this one, so hopefully that is true, so we'll see. I am planning to watch it, but as of that right now, I'm half and half about it. The fourth movie is Batman. So Batman, I was supposed to watch with my friend, but then she told me she watched a bit of it when she went away. So when she was on the airplane, she watched a bit of it, but she got bored. So I was going to watch it with my older sister, but she doesn't want to watch it. And my younger sister has already seen it, so I've kind of lost interest in it now. So I don't know if I'm still going to watch it. The next one is Polite Society. I've heard about this movie. I People told me it was really good. So I bought it, I started watching it and I got kind of bored. So I don't know why I got bored. I don't know if it's because I was just tired on that day or it's just not my kind of movie. But I am planning to watch it with my friend one day. But as of right now, I don't know if I'm going to watch it. The next one is Meg 2 and also Fast and Furious X. So with Meg 2, I wanted, I was going, I never wanted to watch it in the first place. I only wanted to watch it because my mum wanted to watch it because she likes James. She likes Jason Stratham. I think that's from how you pronounce his name. So we were going to watch it in cinema, but then my I kept on going to my sister like, oh, we need to watch it, we need to watch it because it's going to come out of cinema soon. So then it came on home premiere, and then a picture of my sister bought it or rented it, and she asked me if I wanted to watch it, and I said no, thank you because I was never interested in watching it in the first place. I only wanted to watch it because my mom did, so that's why I said I'll go with you guys because my mom wants to watch it, but I never wanted to watch it in the first place. Fast X, we were going to watch it for my mum's birthday, but we ended up watching Drunk with Four instead. So fast forward, my sister was thinking about still watching it in cinemas, but she waited for it to come to streaming sites, and she asked me if I wanted to watch it, and I said no, thank you, because same with Megan, same with Meg Three, same with Meg Two. I didn't watch, I didn't want to watch it in the first place. So the next one I'm going to talk about is Grand Tussum Summer. I have no. Idea. But I'll probably put pictures or something. But I was really interested in it. From the reviews, people were saying it was really good. And I liked the trailer. I was planning to watch it because... I was planning to buy it. But at the time, I decided I'm going to save money. Because it was around Christmas time. So I decided to save money. So I haven't watched it. I do want to watch it. But I asked my friend if she doesn't really want to watch it. So I might end up watching it by myself. I don't know. But some people were saying it was really bad. But some people really liked it. So I don't know right now. The next one is Saltburn. I was going to watch it, but I heard it was weird, so I decided to leave it. I barely got through it. I barely got through Talk To Me, so I was like, oh, how am I going to get through this? And as of right now, I don't know when I'm going to watch it. But update to Saltburn, I've actually now watched it. Because at first, the first time I didn't watch it fully, I just skimmed through it. And then I was like to my friend, you know what, I'm just going to watch it because I keep on hearing about this movie. And I actually really enjoyed it. I was very surprised at how much I, I liked it. And she's seen it as well. And she really likes it. And the song that's now stuck in my head is... Tonight on the dance floor. 
is stuck in my head. That and also um, the song from Anyone, Anyone But You. I forgot how the song goes now, but that song's been stuck in my head. So I will start now that I've talked about all the movies that I was planning to watch. Now I'm going to talk about movies that disappointed me in the year. So the first one is Scream 2. The movie was very annoying. I really got into the Scream movies in 2023. Scream was one of the best ones out of the whole franchise. And it really disappointed me. After Watching number two really disappointed me after watching number one. I've seen so many people when they would be like, oh, the sequel's better than the second one. Like, for example, Strike 2 is way better than the first one. A lot of people love Strike 2. Toy Story 2, a lot of people prefer it than the second one. So with this one, I was like, oh, maybe this is the same case. But no, the second one just annoyed me. Next to Ant-Man 2, the movie was getting so much hate. And I went into the movie so excited because I was like, oh, I really love the first one. I think the first one, it gets too much hate. So I went into it, like, happy. Like, oh my gosh, it's okay. And I was so upset. The only part I liked about the movie is the relationship between the dad and the daughter. But the rest of the movie is meh. And the villain is meh. And I know a lot of people talk about Full Love and Thunder, but I I prefer Full Love and Thunder way more than Ant-Man 2. Next is The Boys I Loved Before, part three. So this movie, I watched about it because I heard about Exo Kitty. Um, around the time I was going to watch it, but I was just, didn't have the time. So I said, you know what, since Exo Kitty's coming out, let me watch it, because people said that it's linked together. And I thought the movie was meh. I prefer number one and number two, especially number one way better. And yeah, I think number three was alright. Next is No Hard Feelings, the movie. I watched the movie because Jennifer's in it and I thought it was funny, but. And a lot of people kept on saying it was funny and I thought it was okay. The main character, the age difference just got on my nerves, and I know some people would be like, oh, but he's 18 or he's 19, but still, it's just not my cup of tea. It was funny, but it's just, it was alright. It's not oh funny. I'm gonna put it on, but if I'm if there's a movie that's really funny and I'm gonna put it on, it would be something like she's the man. It wouldn't be no hard feelings. Next is the Marvels. Um, I know a lot of people hated the Marvel, like Miss Marvel. I think that's how you say it. The TV show, the Disney Plus show, but I really loved it. So that's the main reason why I was watching the show. I wanted to see the movie because of her. And I thought the movie was okay. I love her and Monica and Captain Marvel. Like, them working together, that was good. But the cat scene was very cringe. And the scene with Captain Marvel, when she was the queen, and they would start singing. And me and my friend just looked at each other. And I was like, they, they're singing in this movie? And it was just like, no, nope. <laughs> but it was all right. It was okay. Next, I'm going to talk about my favourite movies, but these are like honourable mentions, so I like them, but just not as much as other movies. So first is Teenage Mutant, M- M- Teenage New- Teenage Mutant Mayhem, so I thought the movie was very funny, the character was great, and I love the message of the movie. The only reason why it's not in my top 3, it's not in my top 10, is because since then I haven't really watched it that much, I've maybe we watched it twice. I did think it was good, but just not one of my favourites, but I did like it. Next is Red, White, Royal Blue. I thought the movie was really good. I love the relationship between Alex and Prince Henry. They have really good chemistry. What I love about the movie is that even though it's sad, it's really funny. I still haven't read the book yet and it's on my list for this year, so I'm gonna see if I can do that. What I was hearing from a lot of people is that they censored a lot of things in the movies compared to the book. So if they do that, if they did that, I don't agree with that. But I still think it's a good movie regardless. Next is Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I thought this movie was really good. The experience of the movie was 100% up there with Endgame. I remember how much anxiety I was having because I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to kill off Rocket. Like, everybody's like, oh, who do you think they're going to kill off? They're going to kill off Drax, they're going to kill off Rocket. So I have like, so much anxiety. But with the movie, the reason why it was in my top 10, but it's like moved so many times because I feel like I enjoyed it more for Rocket's story. Like, I know it's the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, so of course they have to have the Guardians in there. But I would have enjoyed the movie if it was just about Rocket. Like, if they did a TV series just about Rocket's story, then I would have enjoyed it more. But as a movie, I think it's still funny. I just don't rewatch it that much. I think I've only seen it once, and that's in cinema. My friend's seen it twice or something like that. But they had funny scenes in it, and one of my favourite my favorite scenes was the car scene when Chris Pratt cursed. And I know that's a very common scene. So it was a good movie. Next is the Aerosmith movie. I saw this at Odeon 
and I was able to get the cup and so this is the first one I got the black one and this is the pink one and then I got the bucket this is the, this is the bucket this might like a round two one but this is the bucket and I've seen people be very creative with the bu these buckets. I've seen people put like plants in there and stuff like that. But yeah, so that's that one. Me and my friend was very happy because this is around the time that 1989 Taylor's version came out. We were planning to see it again in cinemas, but we decided to just wait. So it's on streaming sites now, so I'm planning to get it, but right now you can't buy it, you can just only rent it. But I think it was a really good experience. I did have this on my top 10, but then when I was thinking about it more, I said to my friend, I think I enjoyed the experience more than I enjoyed the movie. But it was still a good movie. And I also saw the Beyonce Renaissance on the movie, but I preferred the Taylor Swift one. The last um, mention I had was Trolls 3. So with this movie, I really enjoyed it. But the thing I enjoyed more, the most about the movie is the songs. I thought the movie was funny, and having the new talents was really good. I love Browns, and I love... Freud, they were very good together. Like, I love their brother Bond. I like the movie and I prefer it way more than the second one. The first one's still the best, in my opinion. And I like the characters of Veneer and Violet. So, the enemies, I think that's how you pronounce their names. So, now I'm going to say my top 10 movies. Please keep in mind, this change depending on how I feel, how I'm feeling. So, keep that in mind. But first, I've got Nimona. I really liked Nimona's story. I like the characters. I like the cat, her, and I forgot his name, but if I remember, I put his picture or something. And I liked his, him, and his boyfriend. Like, I like their story. Like, I just really like them. I think it's a really funny movie. And the fact that it was cancelled, and then that whole story with that show, that was that movie. So I'm glad that I was able to watch it when I did. Next is One Car, which is one of the most surprising movies of. 2024 especially for a lot of people i thought it was really good to fish Allen made it really good i loved the songs and it was just a really good movie i'm very glad i watched it hunger games is the next one it was really good lucy gray i think that's how you pronounce her name she's really good and the fact that a lot of people are now are having a crush on john snow the guy who plays him like it's just funny to me but i thought it was a really good movie Scream is the next one. As I said earlier, I watched all the Scream franchise and Scream 1 was the best out of all of them. I really like Scream 1, Scream 5 and Scream 6. Yeah, that's one of my favourite ones. Next is Avatar 2. So I only watched Avatar 1 because I knew I'd been planning to watch Avatar 2. So I was like, let me we watch Avatar 1. So I watched Avatar 1 with my friend and then I watched Avatar 2 with my sister and she really enjoyed it as well. And I liked it, and I'm excited to see what they're doing in Avatar 3, but that's probably going to be like 2026. Next is the Mario movie, really enjoyed it, very funny, loved Peaches, really good song, and I thought it was a really good movie, I've seen it so many times. Next is Puss in Peace Lost Wish, which was just, was, this wasn't here, it was here, then it moved, but I put it back here. Really good movie, really good story, loved the message, the... This was one of the first movies I watched of 2023 and it was really good and the like the animations, beautiful. Next is John Wick 4, really good. I've never seen any of the John Wick so at first I didn't, I, went, I was upset because I didn't want to see John Wick 4 because I've not seen any of them because when my mom's, when they were planning for me to watch John Wick 4, I was like, oh, but I haven't seen the rest, like I'm not going to enjoy it, I was very upset. But when I watched it, I was actually, I really enjoyed it. So when I watched it, when I watched it with my mum for her birthday, like I was watching it, but I wasn't really like invested in it. I was like, uh, I was just not into it. But then I watched it again with my friend, and I actually enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. So I do plan on watching Barbie three when I have the time. Next is Barbie, one of the best movies. So good, Ryan Reynolds, Margot Margot Robbie, so good songs. I'm just Ken stuck in my head. Spider-Verse, really good. So excited for part two. I'm kind I'm very upset that it was a two-parter, but I understand why they did it. 
it wasn't too long already, so I understand. Now I'm going to talk about the movies I'm excited about for 2024. So you got Spider Verse, the part two, Inter in Inside Out two, which I'm very excited about, and we got a new motion called Design T, Kung Fu Panda two, love for Kung Fu Panda, they're very good. Iron Claw, which I'm very excited about, and I'm excited about because here it comes out in February, and I think in America it came out in December, so. A lot of people have already seen it and I have the rate, but I know it's going to be worth it. The Colour Purple, that looked really good and I've mostly seen it because it has Hayley Bear, Hayley Bailey in it and Jarji P. Hansen, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Watch out for, very excited for that. The Garfield movie, I love Garfield, I, I remember when I used to go watch the TV show and I love the movie, the second one especially, the one with two cat kittens, so one's the prince and one's like the pauper. So this one, these are the movies that I'm middle about, so Maleficent 3. I heard this movie's coming out in 2025, but I'm still excited for it because I really like Maleficent, especially the first one. I like the second one as well, but the first one is the best. Mean Girls, I'm very excited about that. Challenges, I'm excited about that. How to Date Billy um, Ross, I think that's how you pronounce it. That got postponed, so I wasn't mad about that, but I'm excited to see it. Dune Part 2, that got postponed, but I'm still excited to see it. Um, I just really want it to be good. That's how I feel about that one. Joker 2, half and half about it. Joker 1, I think, is kind of overrated. Like, I liked it, but I thought it was kind of, it was overrated a lot. Bye Bye 4, I'm middle about it. Ghostbusters, I'm middle about it. So this is called Fro Frozen Empire. Now, these are the ones I'm curious about. Maybe I'll see them, maybe I won't, I'll see. So the first one is Deadpool 3. I liked Deadpool, especially the first one. The second one's all right. Next is Madam Web, looks good. Migration, it looks alright. Next is Hunchback of Notre Dame Live Action, which I didn't know they were doing this. I was like, what? But I'll see it out of curiosity. Next is Beekeeper, that I'm probably going to see because of my mum, so we'll see. Next is If, the trailer looked alright, or from what I heard, it looked alright. Next is Girls Trip, the first one is alright. And the last one I have in this list is Mufasa, the long. The Lion King, and this one when I heard about it, I was like, why? Why are they doing this? Why? I know why, because, you know, but that's one of the movies I'm least excited about. So this doesn't really have a particular list, but that one is definitely at the bottom. Okay, now I'm going to talk about songs. So I'm going to say my Wonka Lion King. So first is Pure Imagination. I really like this song and I like how they made it like their own version in the movie. Next is You Never Had Chuck Like This. And my friend was singing it and when she was singing it, I'm like, oh, that's from Wonka. I like that song. So it goes chocolate and it's chocolate. I like that song. Next is Sweet Tooth. When I watched it in, in the cinema, I didn't really like the song. I wasn't feeling it, but it's grown on me. Next is for a moment, and this is the one that Noodle and Wonka sing together. I had a tie on, but when I was doing this, I thought, actually, when I really listen to songs, if I'm like, oh, let me put on a Wonka song, I'm not going to put on that one, because it is kind of sad, even though it's a really good song. Next is the one about own. I like that song. That song. That's when he's walking up the, like, the thing in the shop. Next is Oompa Loompa. It's a good song, but I'm not really going to put it on. Next is Hateful Dreams, or Hatful Dreams. It's a good song, just not my favourite. Scrub Scrub, it's there. It it does what it needs to do. But I think 7 and 8 is just, you know, plot-wise. But I mean, they're all plot-wise, but yeah, that's it. Next is Trolls 3, so... First I've got Bros on his back, being stuck in my head. Better Place, I like that song, it's a really good song. Watch Me Work is when he's like, uh, when... You gotta work, you gotta work, you gotta work. I like that song. Next is Perfect. When it comes to perfect, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. I like that song. Five is Sweet Dreams. Three dreams are made of hair. Who am I to disagree? It's a good song. They did good. Next is Vacation Island. So that's when they sing Bob Bust It. And I thought that was funny. Next is It Takes Two. So that's the song that Camilla sings in. And it's a catchy song. Next is Let's Get Married. I, I liked it. It was a good song. Next is 9 to 5, and I think the song gets too much hate. Like, I know the character is kind of annoying, but the song is not that bad. 
Next is Better Pains um, Reunion. I think the song was alright. Then the next one is Lonely Place. Actually, I might change those two. But Lonely Place is the one Choice of One sings. He has a really good voice, but the song just doesn't stand out to me as the worst. Next is Family. It has a good message, but as a song, it's alright. And my least favourite is Hustle Damnation. It's just kind of there. So now I'm going to talk about my favourite songs of the year, then I'll talk about my favourite album. So first, I will mention I have to talk about Peaches from Super Mario Movie. I was obsessed with this song, and Jack Black was definitely one of the best parts of the movie. Like he's he's really good at singing, but I'm not surprised about that. Next is Meltdown by Nara Holland. Really good song, very catchy. I'm very excited to hear the song in cinema. And I think it's one of his best songs up there with Still and Put a Little Love on Me. Next is Body Do and Play It Away by Chloe. Really good songs. I really love the album and really good vocals. Next is Miss You Best by Lewis Capaldi. The song was everywhere. I remember when I was, everybody kept on talking about this dog when I was, I was confused. So I thought, let me watch the video. And the video was really good and the song was really good as well. Next is Sam Smith on Holy. The song was everywhere and I really got into Sam Smith in 2023. I did all of the discography. And I think Gloria gets too much hate. Like It's a really good album. Unholy, Love Me More was on repeat. And I also had... I'm not here to make friends. I thought that's a really good song. Next is Vampire by Olivia Rodrigo. I think it's a really good song. You can see that she was changing her like her tune, like her sound for this album, and I think the album was really good as well. So I was very excited for the album. Next is Left and Right by Chloe Poof, and it also has Joel Cook. I think that's pronounce his name. I agree when people say like, oh, Charlie Poof doesn't do the best songs. Like his albums on, apart from. I forgot what it's called, I think it's first night, I think that's his best. But self titles are alright, but left and right, this song was in my head, and this is when I got in introduced to John Cook. Um because I was gonna do BTS's mouth albums, but their discography is very long, so I didn't end up doing it. But this album has grown on me and the song with Light Switch has also grown on me. Next is New Jeans, Oh My God. I heard this song on TikTok and I was obsessed with it and it was in my head. And my friend's sister has also introduced me. My friend's sister has introduced me to one of their new songs called Super Strike and I thought it was really good. Next is I'll Be There For You by Friends. This one is more sadder because Matthew, pa Matthew Perry passed away and because of that, a lot of people were doing tribute on TikTok. So the song was stuck in my head. So, yeah. Now I'm going to say my top favourite song of the year and this is in no particular order so Poison Poison by Renee Rapp no Poison Poison by Renee Rapp Chose Free Bros on the Back Drunk Cook 3D One of the Girls Choice of One Watch Choice of One Well for House John Hood Jonas I Know Places 1989 Television Taylor Swift Willow um Willow sorry T Taylor Swift Willow Barbie Push Barbie I Am Ken Kitty Carson Mean Barbie Pink Barbie Dance the Night Away and Sabrina Carpenter and Nonsense. So with Barbie Pink, it was mostly the I liked that song, but it was more the when she's like Physical of Death. That version was more in my head. So this is me that I'm excited about. So some these are the people that I've heard are gonna be doing albums in this year, but I'm not so sure if it's this year or next year. But you got Ariana Grande, Rihanna, Billy Alice, Justin Bieber. Selena Gomez and Chloe and Hallie. Uh, yeah. So, Poison um, Poison Poison by Renee Rapp. I really got into Renee Rapp this um, last year and I really liked her album. And that song was on my TikTok and it's just a very catchy song. Which was free. Um, I already mentioned why I like the song. I just think it's very catchy. 3D was one of my favourites. One of the girls, I heard about it because I heard about. Um, that I forgot what his name is. Ross Lynch. That's it. Ross Lynch was in the music video, so I'm like, I was like, oh, I was gonna watch the music video, but I wanted to hear the song first. So I heard the song and then I watched the music video. And when I first listened to it, I was like, okay, this song is good, but it's not like it's not my favorite. I think I put it like four or five in my ranking, but then it went up. Wash was in my head. I feel the wash addicted to your time. Oh, I feel the wash. It's so good. It's so good. Waffle House stuck in my head. Anna Places, really good song. Willow, 
um, this got stuck in my head after we watched the Ares comedy, Push. I think that's a really good song. That's the one when they're on the guitar and they go, I wanna push you away. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. I Am Ken. Really good song. Me, I think that was a good song. I like mine as well. I know mine is very popular, but I prefer me. Pink is really good. Dance the Night Away, really good. I have that after my own time. And Nonsense, really good song. Okay. So, albums that disappoint me. So, first you've got Melanie Martinez with um her newest album Polish I don't know how to pronounce it so I listened to her albums I really liked Crybaby and K-12 but with her new album I thought it was kind of meh they had some songs that I really liked but most of it I was just bored so I think half of it I liked and half of it I didn't like next is Emery on Healthy I was very upset with this one I love Emery and Therapy is one of my favorite albums of all time not just by her and I think this album was kind of meh like she had good songs on it and I really like Sad Bitch and Psycho, but as an album, it was a letdown for me. Doja Cat, Scarlet had some good songs in it. She's a very good rapper, but the album just wasn't it for me. It's grown on me since then, but I think she's done. I think Planet Her is still her best one, but she's really talented, so I'll give her that. I want to see her on concert, so I'll see if I'm able to. Next is Nicki Minaj, Pink Friday, number two. This album was very bad. I love Nicki Minaj, but this album just was very meh. The songs are catchy, but a lot of the songs are overplayed, especially everybody. Now I'm going to talk about albums that I loved. So, Naho in the show, I thought this album was really good. Naho is one of the best of the Solo Boys, so from the One Away From Solo Boys. I remember when this album first came out, and Meltdown was on repeat, and Heaven has grown on me, the song Heaven. I think that song's really good. My favourite songs are Meltdown, You Should Got a Cult, and Science. Next is winning rap. Angels know with her rap, I really got into her music. I didn't know about her until I watched the show The Sex Life of College Girls and I'm very happy I did watch it because she's very talented and I'm glad that I decided to listen to her music. So my favourite songs are is Poison Poison. But apart from that I also like the Riddle song, Pretty Girls, Irish and High Hate Boston. And I also listened to the Deluxe version and my favourites was Messy, I Do and Tommy Ache featuring Coco Jones. Next is Olivia Rodrigo Gotts. Olivia really came back with this album. She's very talented and this album was definitely worth the hype. I feel like I still love Sal way more, but this album was still way really good. So my favorite songs of this album was Vampire, Get Him Back, Battle of a Homeschool Girl, Logical, The Grudge, and Teenage Dream. Next is Choice of On, Someone, Someone to Get Each Other, and I got the album for this. Uh, oh. Let me show my mini one. This is my mini one. And that's the back. So it's the front. That's the back. And what? Choice of one. It's, it's the back. I got these for myself. So kind of a Christmas present, but not a Christmas present at the same time. Okay. Next is. So Choice of One, this album was really good. I thought it was very fabby. When I first listened to the album, I didn't like it that much. Like I liked it, but it was more a particular song album, but it's grown to me and I'm very happy with all the love that he's getting. So my favorite song is One of the Girls, Wash, In My Room, What's The Time Where You Are, and Honey. Next is Kelly Clarkson. I knew about this album because of my friend and on one of my chill days, I decided to listen to it. I was planning to listen to it before, but because it's a long album, I wasn't feeling up to it at the time. Really good. I wasn't feeling the rock songs that much, but I still think it's one of her best albums. So my favorite songs is Skip This Part, High Road, Me, Down To You, Chemistry, Lighthouse, Rock Costume, My Mistake, Red Flag Collector, I Hate Love, and that's it. And, uh, and that's right, sorry. Deluxe song, I Won't Give Up, Did You Know, You Don't Make Me Cry, and Goodbye Moses. So, I have her album as well. Here. And next is Chloe and Pieces. So, when I heard that Chloe, when I heard that Chloe was coming out with a solo album, I was very excited because I'm very, I'm a big fan of Chloe and Harry. I really like the album on Chloe and Hour. So, when I heard about this album, I was like, yes, I need to, I need to listen to it. So, I thought it was very good. Her vocals are very good. She got a lot of hate for this album because some people were like, oh, like, oh, she, 
it's not that good. And especially because of the whole Chris Brown and her song Cuts Controversy. Even though I don't agree with Chris Brown, I think that song is still one of the best songs on the album. And yes, the album could have been better, but it's her first album. So when you look at like Taylor Swift and you look at the, um, her first album, she's grown so much. So I think she was getting too much hate when it wasn't necessary. My favorite songs are Pray It Away, Body Do, How Does It Feel, Cheat Back and Worried. I also like Toja, but it's not my favorite. Next is John Cook Golden. So backstory, I, I already said all this, but so the backstory of this is that I was supposed to listen to BTS, but the album was too, the albums are very long, so I didn't end up listening to it. So when I heard about John Cook from the song Left and Right, that's Charlie Puth's song, I got into him more then. So I decided to listen to the album and I've been a John Cook fan since then. My favorite songs are 3D, 7, The Clean Version, Hate You, Yes or No, and Stand Next to You. Um, I really want to get some vinyl, so I'll see if I'm able to. So next is Taylor Swift's 1989 version. I was very happy when I heard about this because 1989 is one of my favorite albums. So I listened to it as fast as I could. You can tell that some songs are, sound different, especially in Numerotics. I like the vault songs, but I prefer the vault songs on beat now. My favorite songs are Blank Space, Down, Shake It Off, I Wish You Would, Bad Blood, Why the Streams, How to Get the Girl, This Love, Clean, and You Are In Love. And my favorite folk songs are Now We Don't Talk and Is It Over Yet. So, this is the CD I have for this album. Um, I think this is the blue one. Yeah, this is the blue version. And this is the other blue version. I'm not going to open it now because this video is already long. But I plan to do another color version of another color version collection because I haven't done it in a while. So next is Lewis Capaldi Broken by... Broken by a desire to be a healthy scent. Louis Capaldi came back with this album and I thought it was really good. Do I prefer this more than the, his first one? No, but I think he's still very good and I like the songs. So my favorite songs is Wish You The Best, Pointless, How Does It End, and Love The Hell Out Of You. Next is Jonas Brothers The Album. This album was very fun. The album got very unnecessary hate. It was nowhere near Happiness Begins, but I was still liked it and I thought it was fun. Like, not every album has to be the best lyrically. My favorite songs are Rings, Little Bird, Waffle House, Miracle, and Celebrate. Next is Ava Max, Dance and the Dance, and the Dance Force. I thought this album was really good. I think she did really good after the album Heaven and Hell. I don't think this album is better, but it's very close, and Ava Max is very talented. So my favorite songs are Maybe You're the Problem, Ghost, Coldest Eyes, Made on Baby, and One of Us. So that's all the albums, now I'm going to go to the TV shows. So this is the TV shows I was disappointed in. First is using season four. I, I was so excited for this season and it just kind of let me down. Like the second half was really good, but the first half was meh and as a season, it just wasn't the best. But I am excited for season five and I hope they leave it out with a bang because it's going to be the last season. Next is sexual education season four. Sex Education is one of the best shows Netflix ever done, but as a season, it did feel very washed to me. Like, I like a lot of things about it, but it just wasn't as good as the other seasons. Next is Sex Life Season 2. This annoyed me. One, they shouldn't have done the season 2 in the first place. Two, they gave one of my favorite characters, Cooper, they made him, like, horrible. And I was rooting for him in the first one, which you should, because the guy he was with was awful. So they made him awful, and I didn't like that. And the girl, she got back with Brad. I don't even remember her name. She got back with Brad. I think that's his name. The only part, the only, the thing I didn't like about the season though is that Brad, you can see he got a bit of a growth. So he gave, you can see that. But apart from that, the season was meh. And I won't be surprised if they do another season, but I saw it out of curiosity. Next is Yellow Jacket Season 2. I really liked Season 1, and I remember when Season 2 came out, but everybody was talking about it and saying how it was better than Season 1. I thought it was kind of meh compared to the first one. I didn't watch this one straight away because it's a long season and I had to find the right time. But when I was watching it, I did enjoy it, but I just didn't enjoy it as much as Season 1. Next is Jenny and Georgia Season 1 and 2. This is one I did really enjoy it. I did think I, didn't, I, did think I would enjoy it more than I did, but I didn't. Because I know it has a, fav a famous 
it has a famous fan base so i was like oh my god i'm gonna really enjoy it and i did but it was just kind of meh so this show is kind of like lost of to me i see myself watching it more for a particular episode but as a show it, it was still a good show it's just i thought i would like it more now i'm going to talk about honorable few shows so first is last of us season one i really enjoyed the show i think they did a good job of it making bringing it from a game to a show and especially with the henry and sam episode my favorite episodes was the henry and sam episode and the tommy episode i think it's a good show but i wouldn't watch it i wouldn't rewatch it that much like all together Next is Bone Wars Season 3. So with this one, I watched it last, I watched it in 2022, but I didn't watch it fully. I just skimmed through it. So I decided to watch it in 2023 and I liked it. And I think Wade is still my king. I love Wade. And I can see my people saying that this season is very traumatic because my gosh, but it's still a good season. Just, I didn't prefer it more than other ones. Next is Never Have I Ever Season 4. I thought it was a good season and I got my end game. Ben and Davey was end game. So I loved that. But I have to put an honourable mention, it's just because I had mixed feelings about it. Like, one of the things that annoyed me is, I forgot his name, I think it was Ethan. They, they literally, they was hyping him up for how long, and then he was barely in it. Like, he was in it for, like, maybe two episodes, and then he was gone. Next is Game Shaker Season 1, 2, and 3. So I rewatched the whole seasons, and I thought they were very funny, because I got, I got Paramount Plus, I think that's why I decided to watch it. And... I thought it was very funny, it brought back a lot of memories. Next is Survival of the Fitness. So with this one, I was just looking on Netflix, looking up something to watch, and it came up, and I decided to watch it, and it was good. I I wouldn't rewatch it as much as other shows, but I enjoyed it, and I would recommend it. So that's all the TV shows. Now I'm going to, that's all, that's my disappointment TV shows, and on the mentions, now I'm going to talk about my top 10. And keep in mind, this change depending on my mood. So next, Bridgeton Season 2. I thought it was really good. I love Kate and Anthony together. And I'm excited for Season 3. I'm sad that it's going to be in two parts, but I'm excited for Season 3. Next is The Summer Like a Pretty. I have heard about this. <sighs> I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it. I am Team Jeremiah, but maybe more for myself, because Betty treats... Because I feel like Betty's just going to hurt Jeremiah again, so maybe more for myself, but... Yeah. Next is Queen Charlotte. Really good really good show and you can see how much they they improved on Queen Charlotte compared to Bridgerton season one. Next is Hot next is Hot Summer season two, really good show. I really liked it. I still prefer season one because season two is very sad, but season two was really good as well. Next is My Life of the Walker Boys, really good show. Love the characters. I did a review on it. It should be on my last video, so if you haven't seen it please don't see it. Next is Exo Kitty, really good show, and I'm excited about season two. So, My Life of the Walker Boys and Exo Kitty have been confirmed, and so, and The Summer Can Pretty Season 3 have been confirmed. Next is Albert Elementary, so I watched both seasons, but I prefer season one. Season one was really good. Season two was good too, but I think season one was way better. Next is One Piece, I hadn't heard about the animation or nothing, it just came up on my timeline or something so i decided to watch it and i really enjoyed it i think my friend enjoyed it more, more than i did but it was still good next is loki season two really good and yeah we don't need to talk about that guy who plays the evil one but i think it was still a good season and i like how they ended it next is bear season two really good and i thought it was a good season i enjoyed it so now i'm going to talk about shows that i was planning to watch but i haven't watched it yet so first you got What If season two. I heard about the season, and it's just currently film. It the last the final episode just came out a while ago, so I'm thinking about watching it. Next is Squid Games the Challenge. I heard about it. I'm half and half about it. I don't know if I'm gonna watch it. Next is The Night Agent. My older sister was obsessed with this show when it came out, and she was telling me and my friend to watch it. But I tried it. It just didn't seem like a show. Maybe I'll watch it. I don't know. Next is Fellow tra Travellers, I think that's how you pronounce it. So I know Anthony's in it, so he's in Bridgerton, and the guy who plays Brain's brother from Glee. So I was going to watch it, but I just haven't got around to it, so I'll see. Next is The Bear, which I know is on Disney+, Plus, and one of my favourite YouTubers, she's watched it, and I was going to watch it, but I just haven't got around to it. But from the trailer, it didn't really seem like my kind of thing, but maybe I'll watch it, I don't know. 
Now I'm going to talk about ones shows that I'm in I'm very excited about and then that's it. So first you got Bridgerton season three, Heart Heart Stopper season three, Umbrella Academy season four, and Your Model season three. And these ones are probably gonna be 2005, but you got Exo Kitty season two, Stranger Things season five, The Summer Time Parade season three, Heartbreak High season two. Well, it's actually Heartbreak High season two, which should be 2024. Janine Georgia season three, You season five. I don't know if that's 24 or 25. And that's it, guys. So that was an, all my favorite videos. So if there's anything that I forgot, then I'm sorry, but that should be everything now. I've been filming for a while. Okay. But I'm planning to do my favorite books and funk pops, but I don't know when I'll see when I have time. But that's what I think. If I'm talking very fast, I'm sorry. I just want to plan to film right now. I was thinking about it, but I was enjoying chilling, but I said why not? So, because I had a bit of time. But yeah, I hope you guys had a good. Christmas or a good holiday and a good new year. I did and um I'm enjoying 2024 so far. I'm enjoying it. It's looking very good and I'm very excited for about the movies that I'm gonna watch. For right now I don't have any movies planned but we'll see. But that's it guys. Um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out when I post and I'll be gonna see you next time. Bye.